I have really good punchlines that I'm sometimes I see I'm funny but I'm not <laughs> you know, like there's no actual substance coming out of your mouth right there. <laughs> I'm being kicked out of my own living room because Karen wants to make me laugh. Well you also want to take a nap, so I'm not sure me talking. Also that I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> Goodbye. Welcome to Carolyn's Kitchen. Is that what I've been calling them? Yeah. Yep, Carolyn's Kitchen. It has been a minute since we have baked together. I'm so pumped because a recipe I'm going to share with you has been in our family for a very long time. Growing up, my mom literally would ship these cookies to my dorm room in New York so that I could have some sort of taste of fall, which is really sweet. We're baking fall pumpkin cookies. There's literally no pumpkin in them. We just cut them into shapes of pumpkins and it makes them more fun. These are so freaking delicious. Jeremy loves them. I think everyone who eats them loves them. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna put our butter, sugar, and eggs all in one bowl and beat them up. And I actually have been letting this butter sit out for quite a while, so it's really nice and melted. Not melted, but softened, as other bakers would say. Okay, I have our butter, now sugar, and eggs. Calls for two cups of brown sugar. I like to use the light brown sugar for this recipe because it makes the coloring of the cookie a little bit better. So I'm gonna blend these guys up so that we can mix in all of these wet ingredients so it gets nice and moist. Aha. This looks amazing. So next, I'm gonna put my dry ingredients in this bowl and stir it on up so that I can then combine it in my wet ingredients bowl. And this is good. Uh huh. It calls for four cups of all purpose flour. Uno. Dos. Tres. And one. And then after that, we have our baking soda, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. I'm gonna put those guys in this bowl, and then we should be pretty much golden. Three teaspoons of cinnamon. And then we're gonna do two teaspoons of nutmeg. These spices literally just remind me of fall so much and it is so freaking fantastic. Cloves has to be one of my favorite scents in the entire world. One teaspoon of cloves. And lastly, I have a fourth teaspoon of baking soda. Yum. So I'm gonna stir all the dry ingredients up. Just mix it in there nicely. Okie doke, so this is stirred up pretty nicely, and I'm just gonna go, you know, one cup by one cup, kind of mixing our dry and wet ingredients together. to use my hands to just feel the texture and mix it around. So usually when I'm done mixing it with a hand mixer, it gets a little bit like this where it's kind of flaky-ish. But then when you feel it, there's actually quite a bit of texture and moisture in the batter, which is kind of nice. Oh, I can't wait to eat one of these. Now I actually need to refrigerate this for two hours just so that the texture gets even better. And then we can bake these bad boys. So I will see you in two hours. Two hours later. Alrighty, kids. Hello. So you're supposed to say, aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> two hours has indeed passed, and it was a whole walk in two seconds for you guys. But Munchkin came over so that she can help me roll out these cookies, and they see me rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we're going to put our flour on the counter and then roll the batter up. Oh, I just cleaned my calories. It's fine. Hi, I'm back. I'm going to go for it. I love you. I love you. Do good. See you later. Will you? Uh, oh. <laughs> She's thick. So my mom is like the pro at making this. It's only fall when the pumpkin cookies come out. That's what I told them. Literally, I was saying that mom used to send me them to New York. Yeah, me to North Carolina. Really? Yep. They're the greatest. I'm going to go for it. Why not? 
<laughs> oh. So, I have a story to tell. This is story time. This is a little embarrassing story to tell. It is a little embarrassing. Okay, so about three months or so ago, I went bowling, and I'm not very coordinated with balls. <laughs> um, and so I was like throwing it really weird, and my dad's like, what are you doing? Like, you're throwing it really weird. Anyways, I didn't really listen. Two and a half months later, I was like, yikes, my wrist is kind of hurting. Turns out, I get an MRI, I have a few tears in my wrist and a sprain. So, I'm in a uh, cast <laughs> after a bowling incident. <laughs> Do we think this is a good thickness? Yeah. So Catherine brought over my mom's pumpkin cutter too. Oh, I don't know, when it's too thin, it doesn't taste good. I like mine a little bit chunky. I like my chunky too. I like them brown. I like them chunky. Oh no, it's perfect. Really? Yeah, it's like perfect. Oh yeah, so this is probably what? Wait guys, let me get my mental measuring ruler out. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, like a millimeter. That is more than a millimeter. Okay, maybe I'm not that good maybe at like mental math. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like two millimeters. Maybe two millimeters. It's not and a centimeter though. It is definitely not a centimeter. I also preheated the oven to 350, so it should be ready to go. These look so good! So my mom has a technique for this, where she peels around the pumpkin cutouts. Literally, it, these are the best cookies you will ever taste. If you like fall, and you like cinnamon and sugar, not, it's not, they can't really taste, it's not like cinnamon sugar, but if you like fall just themed, fall flavors, fall flavors, you will love these. Love and they're these. really not difficult to bake. The hard part is like keeping it in the pumpkin shape when you scoop it up. Oh, that was a good one. Ha ha. Okay, I think I might put these guys in the oven just for a little trial. Yeah, that's what mom typically does. Nice. Alexa, oh, set a timer for eight minutes. Eight minutes, starting now. By the way, during this busy time of year, I can remind you to do something later so you don't forget. Whoa, that's so Just cool. say, remind me. Remind me to drink water. When should I remind you? Remind me in one hour. Okay, I'll remind you in one hour. Who would have thunk, guys, that Alex can do all that fun stuff? Catherine, of course, is videoing right now. <laughs> we have this next batch, and we're gonna roll it on out. Gotta get those close-ups, you know what I mean? <laughs> Gotta get the close-ups. I'm really using my muscles here. Work it. Work it. <laughs> 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 Guys, see this is what you have to do. You have to work out while you make the cookies, so then wait, wait, wait. you're ready to eat them. <laughs> oh yeah. It is like with the chilled dough though. It is really a workout. <laughs> Look at that close up. Wow. I'm such a good videographer. And cinematographer. Well, that's what I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> well, really good punchlines that I'm sometimes I see I'm funny but I'm not <laughs> there was no actual substance coming out of your mouth right there <laughs> see I'm funny but I can't purposely be funny or else I'm not funny I unintentionally am funny yeah you're funny to your demise oh I'm hysterical <laughs> I mean I think I'm a I think I'm a riot the glorious cookies are about to be revealed are we ready for it I'm already I don't know that song, song. Oh, baby. Ooh, those look so good. Since Catherine failed being the cinematographer. Yo, 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 I'm over here. She didn't fail. She did a good job. <laughs> I am just gonna let Catherine show you how we cut our pumpkin cookies. Let's get down to business. Ooh, look at that. That is fabulous cutting places. Oh, yeah, See, thank look, you. she's getting all the right angles. You can do a little nooks bit closer. And crannies. All the nooks and crannies. The goal is you wanted to save as much space. <laughs> so, but I'm not really doing that great of a job. So, Catherine, what inspires you to bake cookies? What inspires me? My stomach. Your stomach. My taste buds. <laughs> like, I mean, just just take a whiff of this. You're just like, Honestly, oh. the entire house smells glorious right and now. And the thing is, it also brings back, like, oh my gosh, like, the seasons are actually coming. Especially when you live in Florida and it's like 5,000 degrees outside. We have successfully baked so many cookies. We're gonna start making the icing. And the icing is actually really simple. And it's super delicious. Powdered sugar and milk. And it's just the glaze that kind of goes on top just to make it Mwah. Chef's kiss. Food glorious, food. Okay, so as we said, we're gonna start with the icing. Right. So Pipsqueak is gonna. I don't, I don't think there's exact. Drink water. <gasps> no way, that's the reminder. They told me to drink water. I'm trying to unscrew this one hand. Alexa, got it. Dismiss. Alexa, set a reminder in 10 minutes to eat cookies. <laughs> okay, I'll 
I'll remind you in 10 minutes. With the icing, we don't really measure it because, as you can see, we have a plethora. A plethora. plethora. Nice plethora. word. Thank you. Of cookies to ice. So we kind of just eyeball it. Like, if let's say we run out of icing, we just add more. So anyways, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to add in a little mixing bowl. So basically, all it is is convection sugar, like we said before, and half and half. And just kind of splish wash. You don't want to do too much because you want it to be runny. You also don't want to do too little when it's too thick. So and there's like an even mixture. So we kind of measure it out as we go. Okay, and then we'll stir see. it in. And you really don't need that much. Might be good. <laughs> that looks so good. When I was drinking water, I actually spilled on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa needs to remind you not to spill water on your shirt. Oh, oh, see, this is a very good consistency. See how it's not too thick, not too thin? Just right. Just right. So just for kicks, we actually like to make them look like pumpkins. So we make some orange, and then we do green little tips and stuff. Just, because why not? It's only fall once a year. Oh, that's actually kind of pretty. Whoa! Whoa. Okay, so I put too much. Oh wait, let me see. This looks so good. Maybe a little bit needs a little bit, a little more yellow. Maybe a little bit needs a little bit, a little more yellow. <laughs> wait, wait, come show them. She has icing on her forehead. So how whenever I eat or bake, something always ends up not where it's supposed to. <laughs> okay. This looks amazing. Okay, we got our spoons. Okay, so this is the color. And basically, we just kind of do a thin layer on it. You don't want it too thick because it takes too long to dry. I think we need reminder. a cookie. Ice one up. I think I'm done the stems though. That's fine. She's almost done with this one, but Alexa told us that we have to eat a cookie right now. So, so. we do, we obey what Alexa says. <laughs> These are so freaking good. And I think I just got icing in my hair. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> a little hard. Mine tastes so good. I'm all crunchy. <laughs> so we have our green. According to Catherine, it's a little bit too runny, but oh, runny. we're okay. making do. Look at all of these cookies. And we have a little bit of a color difference because we really I have to say that mine look a little bit nicer than hey, Catherine's. Excuse me? So we have successfully cooked and iced probably like 30 plus cookies. They look absolutely delicious. And they, well, actually. <clears throat> they do taste delicious. They taste absolutely delicious. They look like a third grader's work. <laughs> Catherine's was the worser ones over here. Hey. Mine is maybe the nicer ones. They both taste good. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we will catch you this time. Thanks for watching! Week. It's gonna go dun 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 dun.